Bureau of Indian Standards is a national standards body of India established under the Bureau of Indian Standards Act 2016 for the harmonious development of the activities of standardization, marking and quality certification of goods and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Bureau of Indian Standards ensures for providing safe, reliable quality goods, minimizing health hazards to consumers, promoting exports and imports substitute, control over proliferation of varieties, etc. through standardization, certification and testing. High strength deformed steel bars are used for construction of buildings and other concrete structures like bridges, dams, etc. Thermomechanically treated bars or TMT bars are high strength reinforcement bars that feature a tough outer core and a soft inner core. The Indian standard for high strength deformed steel bars and wires for concrete reinforcement is IS 1786-2008. Concrete has good compressive strength but poor tensile strength. That is why TMT bars are needed to reinforce the cement concrete. The rip pattern on the surface of TMT bar provides enhanced anchorage in concrete structures so as to hold it in place and avoid slippage of concrete materials from the reinforced bars. Further, the TMT bars have zero surface deformities, better load-bearing capacity, negligible surface flaws which make it corrosion resistant. TMT bars possess high stress yield and prove to be a boon for earthquake prone areas. TMT bars are ductile which allow more room for aesthetic designing of a structure. Now let us see how TMT bars are manufactured. The first step in production of TMT rebars is to produce billets having required chemical composition. For this, primary steel plants produce them from iron ore and the secondary rolling mills buy the billets from the former. Along with the billets, sponge iron is also used. At first, visual inspection of raw materials is done followed by visual screening and segregation. Further, it is sent to the lab for testing the composition of the raw materials. After completion of testing, they are issued for melting in a furnace and molten metal is tested for the composition. Then it is casted into billets. Billets are fed into a reheating furnace which heats them up to 1200 degrees Celsius. Heated billets then are fed into the rolling mill through various roll passes where the rollers are placed in horizontal or vertical alignment as per the required size of the product. After rolling, Product as per the required size is obtained. In the final stage, the rolled product is passed through the quenching box which pours cooling water at high pressure by the nozzles of required size to get thermomechanical treated bars. Finally, 
cooled finished products are cut into required lengths and then taken for final inspection such as chemical and physical tests as per IS 1786-2008. products which are conforming to the requirements are bundled and then stacked for marketing now let us see the various tests to be carried out as per indian standard is 1786 2008 apart from visual examination and dimensional tests major tests for checking the quality of hsd steel bars include chemical test tensile test bend test rebend test and pull out test chemical test chemical analysis of tmt bars of various grades include percentage of carbon sulfur phosphorus and niobium vanadium boron titanium in case of addition of macro alloying elements for strengthening the ladle analysis of tmt bars is done as per the methods specified in relevant parts of IS 228 tensile testing the test involves straining a test piece by tensile force generally to fracture for the purpose of determining tensile strength percentage elongation and percentage total elongation at 0.2% proof strength of bars wires The values of tensile strength, percentage elongation and percentage total elongation at 0.2% proof strength of bars wires depends on the grade of the steel used. Bend test. The bend test is performed in accordance with the requirements of IS 1599 and with a specified mandrel diameter. for different grades the test piece when cold is doubled over the mandrel by continuous pressure until the sides are parallel the specimen is considered to have passed the test if there is no rupture or cracks visible to a person of normal or corrected vision on the bent portion rebent test The test piece is bent to an included angle of 135 degree using a mandrel of appropriate diameter. The bent piece is aged by keeping in boiling water 100 degree Celsius for 30 minutes and then allowed to cool. The piece is then bent back to have an included angle of 157 and a half degree. The specimen is considered to have passed the test if there is no rupture or cracks visible to a person of normal or corrected vision on the rebent portion pull out test when subjected to pull out testing in accordance with IS 2770 part 1 the bond strength calculated from the load at a measured slip off 0.025 mm and 0.25 mm for deformed bars wires exceed that of a plain round bar of the same nominal size by 40% and 80% respectively this product comes under the mandatory certification of bureau of indian standards thus Bureau of Indian Standards ensures for providing safe reliable quality goods minimizing health hazards to consumers through standardization certification and testing